All right, so now let's take a look at question 12. And uh, this one states, write the binomial series expansion of uh, 1 plus x, the power of k, and then this asks, what is the radius of convergence of this series? And uh, now we can uh, yeah, just dive further into here. So this is the series expansion of 1 plus x, uh, yeah, the binomial series 1 plus x, the power of k, and that's actually over here as well in this table. There's a table, but um, yeah, so we could uh, yeah, basically see that as well as in my earlier video over here on the Taylor and McLaren series, actually it's the same video as uh, this link above here. This one here is the same same link. And uh, yeah, specifically went over the binomial series in that video. So the binomial series is right here. So if k, and make this a bit bigger, if k is any real number and the absolute value of x is less than 1, um, which is also the radius of convergence 1, there's the radius of convergence for the binomial series is 1, then 1 plus x to the power of k equals to the summation, summation from n equals 0 to infinity of this in the bracket uh, n choose k. Uh, actually, uh, I pronounce uh, k choose n just because this is uh, written on the top is the bottom there. Uh, yeah, typically it's written uh, uh, other way around n choose k like that. Uh, but in this case, they just have a k on the top and at the bottom there. And uh, we'll go over that uh, soon. That's Those are the uh, binomial coefficients. So if k is any real number and absolute value of x is less than 1, then you'll have this. So 1 plus x to the power of k equals to summation of n equals 1 to infinity of k choose n times x to the power of n. And this is, gonna, this is going to equal to 1 plus kx plus k times k minus 1 divided by 2 factorial times x squared plus k times k minus 1 times k minus 2 divided by 3 factorial and then this is times x cubed plus dot dot dot. And the radius of convergence for the binomial series is 1. Uh, note that the term in big brackets here is the binomial coefficients and often pronounced as k choose n. And let's just write the formula for it. So here's the formula for k n like that. This is equals 2. That's yeah, equals to k factorial over n factorial times it by k minus n factorial. And uh, now let's just take a look at an example here. If uh, if uh, n here equals to uh, it equals to three right here. All right. So let's take a look at that scenario. So if n equals to three, then what we'll have is uh, yeah, then what we'll have, or here, just moved it around to put this uh, arrow there, make it a bit neater. So what we're going to have is uh, k choose 3 is going to equal to k factorial. And then divide this by 3 factorial, that's n, and then k minus 3 factorial, or uh, factorial is on, on the outside. So what this ends up being is, well, let's just expand the k. Let's just say the... Uh, k is any real number and let's say the factorial expands out like this k and then k minus 1 and then the next one's going to be well k minus 2 and the next one is going to be k minus 3 and uh, I'm just going to stop there but write a factorial so that it keeps going on and on factorial so it just keeps going on and on and then you're going to divide this by 3 factorial times k minus 3 factorial so in other words, this and this cancel out. All you're left with is k times k minus 1 times k minus 2, and then divide this by 3 factorial. And if I just box this out, this is exactly what we have right over here. So there's k times k minus 1 times k minus 2 divided by 3 factorial. That's the third coefficient, uh, or the uh, fourth coefficient here, but the uh, x to the power of 3 is coefficient over there. Yeah, or for n equals 3, co uh, and yeah, this is the coefficient when n equals to 3, and then this is the actual first coefficient is 1 there for, well, by itself, for n equals 0. But anyway, so you get this scenario there, it's just very, very fascinating stuff.